Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And today I need to talk about the worst subreddit that I have ever seen in my life. My friend sent this to me. I think some people have reacted to this for sure. My friend sent this to me and she said, you have to look at this. Uh, she didn't know I was gonna make a video about it, but uh, it ruined my day. So shout out to Emerome. I'll link to her channel. She's been on she's been on my stream and stuff before, but the subreddit in question is r slash true rate me. The purpose of this sub is to provide accurate and objective ratings for individuals based on their facial aesthetics. The ratings follow a rating system developed by people who are very interested in human appearance and attraction. I love how it's not even developed by experts. <laughs> the system is developed by people who really care about faces and are also intense Redditors. So I'm expecting a little pseudoscience and by a little, I mean a lot. There's women and men here. I've also heard that the the mods of the subreddit are very extreme. 22F, what do you guys think? Clearly, very attractive person. I don't know why they're posting on the subreddit. Please do anything else. I'm so sorry for what they're about to do in the in the comments. 5.9, beautifully humble. Six, very cute. It's a 10 point scale, by the way. 5.5, by maxillary surgical advancement would probably bring you up to a soft seven or 6.5 if you wanted to go that route. This is from a trusted raider. 5.3, I feel like I do like your eyes in isolation, but unfortunately one obviously has more PCT than the other. The philtrum is a bit longer and flatter. What is going on? dude. I feel like everyone has to rate a five because if someone says anything higher then they get piled on, don't overrate. And then someone wrote an essay. Well, I wouldn't call you exceptionally beautiful. You are very cute. 6.7. I would rate higher, but I fear that subjectivity speaking. As if there's an objectivity to beauty. I feel like beauty standards have changed so much over the year, like over the years, over, over generations, over hundreds of years. This person said nine. And then the mod said overrating rule one, three strikes, you're out. Let's look at the guidelines. God tier. Basically no one meets this standard. So 10 is impossible. No examples because this level is unattainable. Extremely rare. This range will consist of the best looking women of all time. This is so subjective. With virtually every face, facial feature being top tier, these women have great bone structure, strong projected draw, high set, prominent zygomatic process. I don't know what any of this means. Excellent facial symmetry and har harmony, large almond eyes, full. This is so weird. Supermodels and some actresses can be found in this category. So first of all, all these people are beautiful. The idea that like the standard for supermodels is like an objective standard, which it isn't because there's no objectivity to any of this. It's so funny to put a bunch of like pseudoscientific words behind the thing that society already agrees upon is objectively correct. Also, yeah, supermodels have un unhealthy standards of beauty put on them. It's like disgusting what like people in this industry have to go through in terms of like objectifying them. 8.0, uncommonly seen, these women are attractive with and without makeup and have high facial aesthetics. Face consists, consists of attractive and feminine features. And this is so, it's so nothing, including one or two less attractive or more masculine features. Like what's wrong with a masculine feature? But it's clear that they have a preference of type, right? It's literally like someone has a type and they're like, they're projecting their type as objectivity. They always add so much fake science to this. Like based on what? Top one out of 50,000? Where did you get that number? They put Emily Ratajkowski 7.5, come on, what? And the most attractive women seen on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, just every day I kind of see Emily Ratajkowski running around. Like she's not really a rare Pokemon, so to speak. Cause you know, there are a dime a dozen. Emily Ratajkowski basically is everywhere. I just see a million Yara Shahidis every day. A few flaws, bulbous nasal tip. That's not a flaw. Six, get out of town. There's no difference because they're all beautiful. It feels like a way to like put women down. You know what I mean? Like. I wanna see their dudes. We all know Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Day Kim are just 8.5s. 
Dude, Daniel Day Kim is so hot. Square jaw, hunter eyes. Hunter eyes? The heck is a hunter eye? That sounds so fake. Basically, it's just like, if you're a Chad. Ronaldo is a seven, get out of town. Right, okay. <laughs> they did Bryce Hall, Sanjaya. How, wh wh why'd they bring Sanjaya into this? How did baby get here? Oh my God, poor Ed Sheeran. It's so weird, dude. I don't, this is so weird. No, don't ask for help from these people. You don't want their approval. Oh, I'm going to... I am going to lose it. Five from a facial technical point of view, but would say your overall look would put you higher. Have you tried r slash rate my boobs? Why are we still here just to suffer? Reddit has to die. Reddit has to die. Spez, kill it. End it. Turn off not just the API, but the entire website. This is so awful. This is just not true. She's really attractive in her second picture. I didn't factor the boobs. Scout's honor. <laughs> your honor, mods. I did not factor the boobs in my rating. I was not swayed by the booby. As, as someone who like has self, uh, like body image and self image issues, I would steer clear of this. If you're a teenager, please don't be on the subreddit. Can people please stop posting pics of their bodies? I feel like it's often a grab for a higher score. Attractiveness is only based on this part, nothing else. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an app that helps you control what private information is shared on the internet. I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of information that can be found out about you online. Everything from your full name, your home address, phone number, even relatives. It's scary. <laughs> this information is accessible because there are these data brokers that profit by selling your data to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, pretty much any weirdo that wants your data can buy it. Aura will identify these data brokers that are exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They can even opt you out of those annoying junk mail and telemarketing lists. I've been using Aura for a few months now and I've been impressed with how on top of things Related to my identity, Aura is able to keep me in touch with uh, everything from passwords being exposed in leaks to changes on my credit report, Aura's got me covered. And in the event that your emails or your passwords are leaked in some sort of data breach, Aura is monitoring that and they will give you recommendations on what to do next. Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, parental controls, and it protects your devices from malware. That's a lot in one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online head on over to aura.com slash Jarvis to get a 14 day free trial and see what personal information has been leaked about you on the internet. You can also use this QR code. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Oh yeah, what someone said there were leaked screenshots. At True Rate Me, high scores, particularly for women, are deleted by moderators, such as myself and people who give high ratings are permanently banned, while no ratings are ever deleted for being too low, too insulting, or too crude. This gives us the capabilities to gaslight women to control how they see themselves. Yeah! That's like what it seems like they're trying to do. Cause when you see somebody rate high, I couldn't even find the comment cause it was like deleted. I feel like this should not be on Reddit. You know what I mean? Like coordinating to like kind of put women down. It feels gross. One moderator of the sub is presently being investigated by police for encouraging someone who, oh my God, oh God. Most girls who post on true rate me are guys with alt accounts who steal pictures of friends or from other rating subs and pretend to be them to make it seem like a legitimate sub. This practice is encouraged by moderators. Yo, yo, it's the only post on the account and it was created two hours ago. It's a fake person, probably stolen photo. This is the worst place. Men need to understand that the bar is on the floor. If you just do not participate in this garbage, you're already normal. <laughs> You're already more normal. It's not as hard as people are making it out to be. Just don't surround yourself with people who believe that women are the problem. Be friends with more women. Hear about their experiences. If you surround yourself with a balance of like good male and female friendships and non-binary friendships, like just, just across the, across the spectrum, like you will be a more rounded, well-rounded person. You will also learn a lot more and you will have friends who think highly of you and want to set you up with uh, their friends because people, people want to know that people are cool and not creepy and have you know, uh, good people around them. It's just so much simpler. People make it so scientific and so complicated. Take care of yourself. Don't live in an echo chamber. I don't know. It's just, I understand that it's easier said than done, 
But there's nothing scientific about this. There's nothing objective about this. There's no mathematical equation or psychological trick to trick women into being into you. Like I, I grew up a very insecure person and I had to have a lot of, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to prove to myself. And I had a lot of, uh, I needed to have a lot of lived experience to convince me that like the negative thoughts and feelings that I had about myself weren't true. Sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, but it is so much brighter on that end of the spectrum than the alternative. There's a part of me that wishes that I could, and, and, and I'm trying to figure out how to do this, appeal to more young men in my content because I think that young men who are on this like pipeline are turned off by the type of content that I do or write it off as like an echo chamber or whatever, or that I'm just uh, pandering to, to women or non-binary folk. And I think it's an oversimplification. Truly, I do. And like, I'm lucky that when I was a young boy, was a late bloomer and felt ugly and that I was like, quote unquote, one of the good guys and why don't women like me? I had the right influences to like steer me in the right direction so that I didn't turn to like villainizing women. You know, it's just so disheartening because I know that there's like help out there and there's just another way. And I wish these people kind of understood that. Uh, and I don't really know how to get through to them. There's so many like out of body experiences whenever I'm like, on a date with somebody who I think is like really attractive or something like that, where I'm like, oh, in my brain, this person is like out of my league because I used to think so lowly of myself. I used to think so poorly of myself. And all of that stuff is just in your head. Like you can't manufacture a confidence out of nothing, but the fake it till you make it stuff really does work. And you will slowly but surely find yourself in situations that you didn't think you had access to if you just surround yourself with the right people, believe in yourself and tr try to like love yourself as hard as that is, as is, 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 is easy as it is to kind of let that negative self-talk in. Or for me, I think I lucked out. I went internal, like negative self-talk was like my way of coping. But I do think that some people go external and then they blame and shame and other, the people that they see as the problem. And I say lucky because I, it, the only person I felt like I was hurting was myself and the people who were supporting me around me, but I wasn't like broadcasting horrible things and trying to put like women down or so, something like that. But still like, it's never too late to sort of turn that corner. And if I can help you, you know, if there are any young men who feel like they're, they just don't get it, feel free to DM me. I try to respond to stuff. Yeah, I'll keep thinking of ways to kind of provide those examples in my content that don't like scare those people off. As a cis, like straight male, I'm very proud of the fact that women, non-binary folk, and people from all walks of life can find comfort in my community. But at the same time, uh, I, I do want to... <laughs> find a way to speak to like the younger version of myself. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, um, diatribe 1.3 K comments. Dang. I'd say nine to 10 warning for overrating. And then they got negative 14. No shot, dude. People who were saying 7.8 to this woman, I would never put a number on it, obviously. Cause I, I don't think that that's a good game to play. Clearly gorgeous. If someone thinks they're a 7.8 of okay. Overrate. Third strike equals perma ban? What do you mean? If this girl isn't a nine, truly, I can't stand this sub. Then you're free to leave because you don't understand the scale if you think OP is a nine. A nine is like one in millions. Is it now, Mr. Mod? Because if I recall, a nine is one out of 20,000. Like, stay consistent in your fake numbers, dude. It's almost like the numbers are made up. The psychology here is so interesting. The sub should just be called, guess what number I'm thinking of. <laughs> They're also a mod of this sub, true rate celebrities. Please leave Halle ba Bailey alone. Please leave her alone. What's with all the overrates? There's no way this girl is an eight. Are you serious? You seem more attractive women. I'm going to become the Joker. Okay, well, we looked into it and it's definitely the worst place on the internet. Get rid of it.